Hey guys, this is 4GamingN6 here and welcome to tutorial 9 on how to create a zombie first person shooter game in Unity. So first off, if you're new to my series, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one as usual. So you'll have a better understanding of what's going on and how we've arrived at this point in our game and also you'll be organized in creating your game. Alright, good stuff. So uh, if you're following my series thus far, you'll know that today I'll be showing you guys a cool light effect, alright, in which you can use in your game to make your game a bit spookier, especially if it's a sort of horror or zombie like game, alright. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your light blink, or you can say make your light flicker, alright. So it'll have a sort of effect as if uh, the light is having some sort of a shortage, alright. Let me just uh, hit play and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I already set it up in my scene. Yeah. As you can, if you can hear the sound, yeah, you guys should be able to hear the sound. And if you come a little far, you can't really hear anything. And when you're close, you can hear the sound. So, yeah, it's a bit realistic. As you can see, the lights is flicking on and off. All right, it's very simple. I'll show you guys how you can do that. All right, all right. So first thing you'll need to do is check the link in the description below as usual and download the package and import it into your project. Good stuff. Uh, after that's completed, you'll get a uh, tutorial nice folder. Within the folder, uh, I have uh, four more folders here. First audio, the audio folder. I have two uh, audios here for the light, all right. And uh, I have the light animation. The, uh, and I have the light pole model, all right. The model of the light post with the light with uh, a pole, all right. And I have the prefab, which includes everything the pole with the light with the audio clip everything is included here so you guys can check that out and you can just drag it into your game if you like or you can uh create your uh your light from scratch and uh set it up however to suit your liking so i'll show you guys how you can do this very simple what you need to do is uh all right i'll just show you guys here just deselect everything in your hierarchy and we'll right click and we'll go down to light and we'll select a point light. Alright, good stuff. And we'll bring this a bit forward here. Good stuff. And we'll just bring this up. Bring it forward. Just set it wherever in your scene you'd like it to be. Alright, good stuff. Yeah. And that seems good enough. Yes. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Good. All right. So what we need to do now is just uh, these are like create an empty game object, and we'll, excuse me, we'll rename this to uh, light, and we'll just take the point light and we'll parent it to the light game object which we just created. Good stuff. Now we'll animate this light in terms of uh, making it flicker on and off right and we, what we'll basically be doing is uh, just switching the intensity from 0 to 1 alright so you'll have a sort of uh, illusion as if it's uh, the light is flickering on and off very simple so all you need to do is look for this icon here alright you can just select it and you can just go add tab you hit animation or you can just go right up here and you can select uh, animation go to your windows uh, tab here this windows button and just go down to uh, animation and you can select that in a pop up like this in a window by itself you can just drag this wherever you can drag this up here drag this down here you can drag this down there 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 it doesn't really matter i'm just going to put mine there because i like it that way good stuff now all we need to do is just go here go to add component in our inspector ensure that your point light is selected all right go to add component and we'll type an and animation will pop up right here we're just going to select animation all right and show you select animations that are not animated all right there's a difference between the two so just keep that much in mind good stuff and we'll hit this record button and we'll just uh re rename this here and, uh, give the animation a name all right i'm just going to put light one you guys can do whatever you like just ensure that you type whatever in low case all right and we're just gonna drop the intensity a bit just to create a key frame all right we'll just set it back at one so if you notice two keys have popped up in your animation uh panel all right good stuff for every keyframe all right it's gonna determine the duration 
of the actual animation all right so with this keyframe here if you have one keyframe it's not going to really make much of a uh, difference all right because if you hit play you'll notice that nothing really happens because it has no sort of uh, keyframe to switch between all right but I mean when I say switch between let's just uh, select here and create another keyframe all right put this at zero so if we hit play now you'll notice that the light is flickering on and off pretty quickly all right yeah so that's what I mean so it has two keyframes in which it will be switching between all right so from the first one when the intensity is at one and then the second one when the intensity is at zero all right so we're just going to drag this keyframe right here and we'll create another one and we'll put this here at one all right so it should be a bit better yeah so you guys can play around with it all right and set your uh, keyframes to your liking all right I'm just gonna actually do this a bit uh, quickly for tutorial purposes all right I'm not gonna really spend much time on this like I did with the one over there all right so I'm just gonna show you guys how you can actually go about making this and you guys can make it if you want to you can use the prefab that I have included in a package so yeah all right so we'll just zero so all you need to do is just uh, select at the top here or you could just drag this red uh, this red line all right to create a uh, keyframe at a different second all right because as you can see this is zero second half a second one second one and a half second two second that's how it goes all right so basically we're still within the uh, the what should we say we by a, a few milliseconds we've just exceeded half a second we've just yeah no we haven't even reached half a second yet so we're still within the range of zero to half a second all right so you can just uh, set the, uh, this red line wherever you want to create your next keyframe and you can just uh, do that good stuff so so this is at zero so we need one to go to one and we just set this at one and we hit play now just a second just drag this out a bit yeah that that should do for tutorial purposes yeah so if you notice if we hit play uh, you'll notice something that the animation is going to play once and then it's going to stop that's basically because it's set at default so we'll just go to our project panel and we'll just select the animation which we just created and we'll go to wrap mode and we'll select uh, the default and we'll just set it to loop all right so once it's set to loop now it's going to continue playing all the time so keep that much in mind. We'll just take the animation and we'll just drag it right here where it says animation. All right, good stuff. And yeah, if we hit play now, everything works out just fine. Yeah, that's the light in which we just created. All right. Now the light seems to be flickering a bit fast. All right, but we'll leave it that way. I'm not going to really play around with that, I told you guys, I'm just doing this pretty quickly for tutorial purposes. So we need a light pole in there because you'll notice that it doesn't really have a sort of a pole or anywhere in which the light is projecting from. So we'll just put this light pole in there just to keep it a bit realistic. So we'll just go to tutorial 9, light pole, and we'll just select a light pole. And just drag it in there, just select the first one, and just drag it in, and then we'll need to scale this down. and put that somewhere there good stuff and we're just gonna scale it down a bit more good stuff and just drag this down yeah that's some good stuff put it somewhere there and then we're gonna take the point light now we'll just drag it right here and we'll just drag it up and yeah that'll work out just fine so we'll just take the light pole and we'll just 
parent it to the uh, light game object image we created and yeah one other thing you'll need to do now let me just disable my light so you notice when we hit play just now you were hearing a sort of a, a light sound effect as if the bulb uh, is shorting out or something along that line so I'll show you guys I can do that just select your point light add component select this X and we'll go to audio and we'll hit audio source we'll ensure we set this to loop all right just scroll down set it to loop increase the minimum distance now the minimum distance I'm gonna explain this stuff a bit in depth uh, as we progress through the series but the minimum distance for now uh, basically deals with uh, let's say your player is within this circle just increase it all right because when uh, you added the component to some it has a size like this just increase it all right not too much but just a bit what this means is if your player is within this circle all right uh, the sound is gonna play equally loud all right and if your player exceeds this circle the uh, audio clip is gonna start to fade until they leave the max distance and as you can see this is the max distance here all right let me just play around with this and Oops, I uh, yeah, you just scroll out. I played around with the minimum distance just now instead of the max distance. So as you can see, the max distance is going in. All right, so what you'll need to do is take the max distance a bit in as well because it's too big, and you just carry that in, and uh, yeah, that seems good enough. Yeah, that seems that seems pretty good. And one other thing you'll need to do is uh, set this to a uh, custom roll-off, volume roll-off, and you just select this here, and you just select custom roll-off. Now, what's gonna happen is that once you exceed the circle or the uh, max distance, uh, the sound you won't hear it anymore, and that's the sort of illusion we're looking for. All right so if we hit play now everything should work out just fine oh one last thing we didn't add the audio clip so you won't really hear anything all right as you see none audio clip here so just go to the tutorial 9 folder sorry and just uh, open that up and just take the last one or the first one whatever whichever one you like and just drag it right there to audio clip it's a bit too loud so we'll need to uh, decrease the volume somewhere around there would be good enough yeah and we'll hit play and everything should work out just fine as you can hear the sound and the light is flickering so yeah that's pretty much the illusion in which we're looking for in terms of the light flickering on and off so yeah that's pretty much that so yeah guys uh, I hope you like this uh, tutorial if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and in the next tutorial I'll be showing you guys how you can add a zombie model to your game so we'll start on the building of our enemy from the next tutorial so do keep that much in mind so once again hope you like this tutorial i hope it helps you guys out if you if it does uh you can give me a thumbs up and do remember to subscribe once again to keep yourself up to date with my series on how to create a zombie for a special shooter game in unity so until next time continue making games guys and i'll see you in the next tutorial peace